Meet Makoplasty. This is the robot. You would expect it to be something more dramatic mm -hmm. and exciting, like maybe the robot from Lost in Space or something like that. But basically, this is the machine. Research has shown that Americans are living longer, and that means more wear and tear to knees and hips. Makoplasty is a procedure, a robotic assisted procedure, where the surgeon is actually doing the procedure with the assistance of this computer generated robot. The makoplasty procedure has been performed over 100 times this year, and Vassar Brothers Medical Center is the only hospital between Westchester and the Canadian border to offer the makoplasty technology. Dr. Steamer says decades ago people learned to live with the pain, but with this cutting-edge technology, now's the time to get your life back. People couldn't have these procedures done until they're over 65 because they don't last too long. So live with the pain or fuse the joint actually and come back when you're 65 and then we'll take care of it. And over the years the technology has advanced that they last 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. Probably the newer equipment that's come out now is probably going to last longer than that, especially this equipment here. So that we do it in younger people that are surgical candidates that have bad arthritis, that don't want to live with the pain, that don't want to live with limitations, that they can't do things they want to do. Universally people say they wish they did it years ago. Makoplasty technology delivers precision in surgery and in the preoperative planning process. This is a, a computer and a, and a monitor here that incorporates the preoperative CAT scans that are done. So the anatomy of the patient is stored here. It's coordinated intraoperatively with the patient and the landmarks, the data entry that we do intraoperatively. Mm -hmm. Again, like a GPS system. So the system knows exactly where I am and the instrument connected to the system allows me to remove the tissue that's supposed to be removed, and no more, no less. If something happens where I slip or I move, which doesn't happen anyway, but if it did, it wouldn't let me, there'd be a lock on it so that you couldn't take too much tissue. If I push too hard, it wouldn't allow me to. If I didn't push enough, it would tell me that there's still more tissue to remove. Other benefits include reduced pain and minimal hospitalization. Currently, we're keeping people overnight. Every single person I've asked, could you have gone home the same day? They all say yes. My biggest challenge is to keep people from being too active post-op. Uh, luckily, it is getting out in the media. People are aware of it and are asking for it. There are alternatives to the conventional total joint replacement, which is less invasive and less painful with a quicker recovery. And really the most important thing, a reproducible effect where you can count on having an excellent result every time.